I wanted to make a video regarding the situation um, as of a couple weeks ago. Um, some of you might be wondering why I took so long to make this response. That's mainly because I wanted a good but belated re um, response. Uh, I've got a list of things here that I want to talk about. Um, so I didn't, I didn't want to rush it, basically. I didn't want a terrible, crying, you know, early apology. So after weeks, Slazo has finally come back and responded to the allegations that his ex-girlfriend Shay made. And I'm not sure if it really proved his innocence, but that's exactly what we're gonna discuss in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community to try to see what lessons we can pull from them to see what we could do to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, if you're not yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter. My brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is coming out this weekend. Both the ebook and audiobook are coming out. I'm giving away a bunch of free copies, but you gotta follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all right? So anyways, yeah, Slazo just um, released his video and I'm gonna discuss it. Um, please stay tuned to this whole video. We're gonna be talking about a few different angles of it. Um, there are some things that he cleared up. There's some questions that are still there, right? But just to give you a quick recap of what happened. So Slazo is a YouTuber, right? He's blown up pretty big in recent years. I think he had 800,000 or a little over 800,000 before these allegations came up and he started losing massive amounts of subscribers. But anyways, he does a lot of videos about like Reddit posts and like DIY, like life hacks and like five minute crafts and a lot of those things that are popular right now on YouTube. But anyways, he had an ex-girlfriend named Shay who came out with a few um, twit longers about, you know, their relationship and how there was abuse, uh, how he forced himself on her and things like that. Okay, and Slazo has pretty much been silent ever since. I'm gonna link, I, I think the links are still there, I'm gonna link them down in the description below for these twit longer. So, real quick, real quick too. I made one or two videos on this, which I have since then privated after watching Slazo's video, just trying to be a responsible commentary channel and things like that, like, as stories develop and we get new information, I want to update them and get rid of anything that might further hurt Slazo, especially since he came out with some evidence that kind of clear his name, but not entirely, all right? Because originally, this looked really bad. It looked really, really bad. Shay had a bunch of receipts, and they're all linked in her twit longer, just a bunch of receipts. Now, what this looks like, and this is just something like, I keep trying to tell all of you guys, like, everybody wants to be famous, everybody wants to be, you know, a YouTuber, or a Twitch streamer, or a, a Hollywood star, or whatever it is, like, God, like, these were kids like just doing the most awkward, cringy sexting that we all did. Me and you both did it too, right? And like now it's just there for everybody to publicly see and that's gotta be so embarrassing, right? Now, Slazo did apologize for the things that he said because a lot of us didn't say the things that he said, but when, when looking at the conversations between the two of them, and this is purely just my opinion, like it felt like they were trying to have some like kinky, awkward teenager sexting, right? Like, oh yeah, baby, you like that? And, you know, just whatever. And like, now we all get to see it. So when he showed like the full context of some of those conversations, I was like, ugh, ugh. all right. You know, like I, I get what he meant, right? So the only, the only message that he didn't really explain, but he showed, was this one right here. And that one's just a little bit suspect in my opinion. But this is one of the reasons why I hope, you know, young people, no matter what age you are, like you feel empowered to speak up when things happen and talk to parents, talk to adults, like, because this happens, this, this is something that happens where people are in a relationship, everything's consensual, whatever it is, but, what this looks like from the outside, it looks like there was one occasion where these two had intercourse where it didn't seem 100% consensual, right? Where they might've done it a thousand times, but if this one time 
when she said no, like that is still an issue. So especially if you're a young person, talk to somebody, talk to your parents, talk to a teacher, talk to a counselor, whoever you feel comfortable with. Maybe it's like an older sister or whoever and say like, is this okay? Like we, you know, because I get that it can be confusing. Like when it comes to that aspect, like you've done it a bunch of times together, but then there was this one time you didn't want to, right? So Slazo didn't really explain that. Like maybe there is a better explanation and he just didn't think it was that big of a deal. I don't know, all right? But I do think based on a lot of the information that Slazo showed, a lot of the, um, the DMs on Discord, the, as far as the text when they met up after the breakup and you know there was the, there was the whole hotel room thing and something that he brings up which which like I get why he did it but these stories get tricky and the thing is like me you like we we are the court of public opinion we are not the court of law right like I look at these like when it's such a serious allegation I'm like what would a judge think what would a jury think about this, right? When Slazo was bringing up how she lied, like this is just, this is something that a lot of people do to make somebody look worse, right? I guess the thing I'm most confused about in this whole thing is why why would she lie? Why would she, th why would she say that she'd never been in a relationship before, never kissed before, intended to wait until 16 and <laughs> twist the truth of what happened in person and make it, and make out like, she never wanted to do anything, and this wasn't a two-way thing, especially at the beginning. But from Slazo's perspective, like being accused of something so horrible, like of course he's gonna point out like the inconsistencies, like saying like, you know, she wanted to wait until she was 16, how she was saying that she never had any exes before. Like he was pointing out that she lied about those things, right? And again, when you have serious accusations like that against you, like you have to show those things, right? But I do want to let you know too, like, cause we've seen public cases in the past where things come up, right? And, and somebody tries to paint that person as a liar. Like, oh, well they lied about this. So they must be lying about everything. And just for all of us, I think it's important that we understand like, just because someone lies about something doesn't mean that they lie about everything. All right. But anyways, the last thing I want to talk about is this, this part was not addressed in Slazo's video, but there's a part where Shay talks about how this was emotionally damaging her so much that she tried to take her own life and she ended up going to a mental hospital and they prescribed her antidepressants and she talked about how Slazo wanted her to get off of them. So something, uh, you know, something that I just didn't want, I just want to touch on real quick is that it's common. It's common for someone's partner to try to get them to get off of mental health medications because it decreases their libido. And by the way, like never let that happen. Never let your partner talk you out of taking your mental health medications. Like in, unless your partner is your doctor, which they shouldn't be because that's not ethical. Like don't let them ever convince you not to take your mental health medications. But Slazo did not address that part of the relationship. And as somebody who makes a lot of videos focusing on mental health, like for me, that's an issue. Like I wish that was discussed, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like this is just, this is messy. Like, is this a story of, you know, um, a, a vindictive ex-girlfriend? Is it the story of somebody who was concerned for other young women? Like, what is it? I was just talking to, um, another creator friend before I sat down to record this video, we were talking like, what was her motive, right? Like, what was it, right? And even if her intentions were good, they, they, may, they might have been, they, I think it's safe to say that they were really irresponsible because she did blatantly leave things out. So I have my own opinions and theories on that of why she, she did it and framed everything the way she did but I'm not gonna say them in this video. <laughs> um, I might make another video on that at another time. But anyways, if, if you have any thoughts or opinions on this, um, let me know down in the description or in the comments below because this is tricky. This is really tricky because I'll, I'll tell you this. As a guy, like since I was young, I was always afraid of being accused of something horrendous like this. Like for most of my life, like even in my drinking and drug using and party days, like 
I had a rule that I would not hook up with a drunk girl, all right? Just because like I have always been deathly afraid of these types of accusations, right? Like consent is of the utmost importance and like, this is something that we need to discuss. So I'm glad that Slazo came out and like explained his side of things. Like, I feel that he is not the monster that he was painted out to be. I think that he was young, horny, cringy, stupid, right? All these things that he apologized for. But, you know, like, I, I used to be a teenager. I've known a bunch of teenagers when I was in high school and things like that. So I look at it, I'm like, eh, okay, yeah, I can kind of see that. But... In my opinion, aside from that one message that um, that I mentioned earlier, I don't think I don't think that you know he did everything. He kind of explained the rest of it away. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Rewire your anxiety is coming out this weekend all right i'm giving away some more free copies and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you're all amazing if you would like to become a patron support what i'm doing here i wanted the tiers you get free copies of all my books but if you want to become a patron click or tap right there all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time